HighTouch is the fastest, most scalable way to sync customer data directly from your data warehouse to platforms like HubSpot. In today's session, we'll walk through an example of exactly how to do so in under five minutes. HighTouch is a data activation platform. What that means is that we enable teams to activate data directly from where it's stored, typically the data warehouse, to over 200 different destinations, platforms like Facebook, HubSpot, or Google, where marketing teams need to use that data to create personalized, more informed marketing campaigns. For technical teams, we offer Reverse ETL, a SQL-based UI that enables users to define data models using SQL. Once the data model is defined, users can customize exactly how they need their data mapped and how frequently HighTouch should sync it to their many destinations. For marketing teams, we offer Customer Studio, an entire suite of no-code features that enable any user, regardless of technical skill, to explore, manage, and activate customer data directly from their data warehouse. In minutes, Customer Studio users can quickly and easily build and activate audiences to any of their many marketing platforms. For today's demo, let's assume that you work for an e-commerce company. All of your customer data is stored in Snowflake, customer profiles and various attributes, and you're trying to get that data down into HubSpot so that your marketing team can better personalize campaigns. In the next five minutes, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to set up HighTouch to configure automatic syncs so that that data is constantly refreshed in HubSpot for your marketing team. Let's dive in. First, we need to configure a data source. In this case, we'll use Snowflake since that's our data warehouse. Setting up your source in HighTouch is a one-time step. Navigate to Setup and then click Sources. Hit Add New Source and select from our list of supported source types. In this case, however, I already clicked Snowflake and added in my various credentials before testing the connection and hitting Save. With our source configured, we now need to set up a destination, in this case, HubSpot. Similarly to how you set up Snowflake as a source, navigate to the Destinations tab under Setup. Click Add Destination and search our supported destinations for HubSpot. You can click continue and then pick your authentication method. You can just log into HubSpot to finalize the integration settings. In this case, I've actually already set up HubSpot, but you can see that you can test the connection and save your changes. With your source and destination configured, you now must define a model. A high touch model defines and organizes the data that you want to query from your source, Snowflake. So you're essentially just telling high touch what data to look at. To create a model, click the models tab. You can then click Add Model and pick Snowflake as your source. Now, HighTouch supports a number of different modeling methods, and we have integrations with DBT, Sigma, as well as Looker. But in this case, we'll just use a, a generic SQL query. Now, we'll use something simple here, like select star from our public.users table. We can beautify that query and make it as complex as we want. Again, in this case, we'll keep it simple and run a preview. Now you can see that HighTouch will now generate a preview of this table where we have access to a user ID, an email address, some user identifiers like first name, as well as fields like lifetime value. Anything that we have available in Snowflake, we can then write a SQL query off of here. We'll click continue, create our model name, and add a quick description. Pick a primary key, and then click finish. With your model now defined, it's time to create a sync. A sync declares how you want your query results from your model to appear in your end destinations. To set up a sync, we'll click into the models tab. We can then select our user model and click syncs. We'll then want to hit add a sync and click HubSpot. Now we'll need to configure the specific sync settings. HighTouch is totally flexible in that we allow you to send the data over to any individual object, event, or segment and define settings for each one of those. So in this case, we'll pick object we we'll want to send it over as a contact, and we'll make sure that we want to upsert only for these new records. Now I want to define a primary key, in this case, email, where we join between Snowflake and HubSpot on email address, and then add additional columns that we want to send over. In this case, let's just send over first name, last name, and user ID. But in the future, we could add new fields like propensity scores or lifecycle stages as our data team makes those available inside of Snowflake. We'll skip making any new associations and we'll do nothing to handle records leaving the query result. We'll click continue. And it's here where we can now set our sync schedule. Now, in this case, we may wanna set a set interval to say run once every 30 minutes to make sure that our data is updated in HubSpot every 30 minutes. We'll click finish. And then we can actually run our first sync. Great. 
Our first sync ran, and now every 30 minutes, our data from Snowflake will be sent down into HubSpot where it's made available for our marketing team. Over the last five minutes, you've learned about HighTouch and how data activation can help you activate your data from your data warehouse into downstream tools like HubSpot to power your marketing, sales, and operations teams. In just a few minutes, you too can get started on your own HighTouch workspace. Simply visit HighTouch.com to get started today.